We woke up to a really cold house the other day because our heater stopped working. So I quickly made these fleece pants for my kids to stay warm. I did a lot of shortcuts to make them quickly, and if I wasn't filming, it probably would have taken me 15 minutes per pair. I started with this fleece fabric folded in half lengthwise and folded again. I used my daughter's sweatpants as a template. These are too short for her, about 2 inches, but fit well around her hip. I folded the pants in half neatly and laid them on the fabric so that the side seam of the pants are parallel to the folded edge of the fabric and also a couple inches from it to make the pants a little bigger. For the hemline, I eyeballed about 5 inches from the hem of the pants and drew a line perpendicular to the folded edge of the fabric. I added about an inch and a half for the seam allowance at the waistline. About 2 inches from this point, draw the clutch line like this, adding half inch seam allowances. Here you can change how wide your pants legs to be, and I wanted a white leg that is pretty much straight up and down. Connect the line with the crotch point with a smooth curve. For the crotch area, you want to shorten the crotch extension to about half of the back crotch extension. Also draw the front waistline parallel to the front waistline of your template pants. So these are lines for the front of the pants, but now you're going to cut around the outermost lines, which is the back of the pants. Now I'm looking at it, I should have drawn the front pants leg like this, but this worked okay at the end. When you open the fold, you get this extra fabric on one of the pieces because of the thickness of fleece fabric. I simply cut off the excess fabric on the piece which was bigger. Because I added some inches to the folded edge, I was able to do this without making the pants too small. Now cut on the lines for the front of the pants. Again, cut more like this line. Fold the pieces like this with right sides of the fabric facing each other. And sew the inseam of the pants. Set your stitches longer than usual, like 3 mm. Flip one of the pant legs right side out, then slide it into the other pant leg. Sew the crotch line and open the seam allowances like this to reduce bulk. Now it looks like a pair of pants. What's left to do is to add elastics to the waist and to the pants hem, if you like. How long your waist elastic needs to be depends on the width and the stretch of your elastic, but for the reference, what I usually do is to cut it to the exact measurement of the waist and overlap it about an inch. To connect the ends, I sew in letter Z pattern. Here, I didn't pay attention not to twist the elastic. This is a bad example. 
connect the ends of elastic, being careful not to twist it. You're looking at the wrong side of the center back of the pants. Align one of the edges of the elastic to where you want to fold the waistline. Fold the fabric over the elastic. Make sure you have some space to sew it closed without catching the elastic. This is where the edge of the elastic is. My sewing machine foot is sitting right next to it. Once you come to the point where your elastic is too short, keep your needle down in the fabric, lift the presser foot, and pull the elastic to the front so you have more to work with. I am not stretching the elastic in front of the needle as I sew. Once you sew all the way around and the elastic is completely encased, distribute the elastic evenly around the waist. And stitch in the ditch at the center back and the center front through all layers. Do the same thing with the narrower elastics at the hem and your brand new pair of fleece pajama pants are complete.